in this video. I'm going to, oh my gosh, oh lord, no, I'm not a thief, but I am going to, on this occasion, steal some handbags. Yes, because aside from going to buy them, it's much cheaper to actually steal some from my luxury YouTube friends. And they've got some fabulous collections and there are many, many handbags that I admire from afar. So why not add to my collection by, <clears throat> <clears throat> you say, borrow a few. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm Hannah and this is So Much Design with Hannah. I put out videos about shopping, so typically luxury shopping vlogs from London town, the occasional London vlog, which takes you around London, and some little travel vlogs when I go somewhere, and of course, some reviews, unboxings when I buy things. So if those are things that you enjoy too, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to a small content creator and I'm just trying to grow my channel and I absolutely can't do it without your support. And it's not often my female cat greets you guys, so here she is. Isn't she just a cutie? Miss Sparkles. Hello, Miss Sparkles. Miss Sparksy doozies Do you like handbags too? I bet that you would love a nice handbag if you could. Say hi, Sparks. Say hello to the YouTube fam. <laughs> there she is, cutie pie. Sparkles is right next to me. Normally it's Milana that interrupts filming proceedings, but today it's Miss Sparkles. So I hope you enjoyed saying hello to her. So let's head over to those luxury YouTuber closets and see what I'm going to mm -mm, steal first. <laughs> We're going to start with Steph. Steph has a an amazing YouTube channel. I'm sure you know her. Her channel is called Handbag Colic. Of course, I'm going to link all of the fabulous YouTubers channels below. So make sure that you head over to theirs. And some of them have done this video as well. So I will link their videos below too, so you can consume a whole raft of these types of videos in one go, if you feel like it. Steph has got a huge handbag collection. It was really hard for me actually to decide which one to pick, but I have picked one. I love black. Yes, I love black. You can see I'm wearing black. I wear a lot of black. Um, I've got a few handbags that are black. Um, yeah, but I could do with another one. Can't we always do with another black handbag? And Steph has got the perfect one. It is the Chanel Black Trendy. It is a stunner. An absolute timeless stunner, in my opinion. And the reason why I'm going to, sorry Steph, going to borrow that just for a little bit here with me. Mm, we can negotiate. I can always give it back if it's just for a temporary borrow. <laughs> um, but yes, the Chanel trendy in the black. I love the trendy Chanel. I have looked at it for the longest time, you guys. I still look at it when I see things trendy related, um, mainly on pre-loved sites, to be honest. Uh, but the reality is that I am never going to own one unless I see one that is this kind of magical, accessible price. Currently, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> so yeah, it's it's simply outside of my price reach. Um, I would love to own one, but it's unrealistic. I will never really buy one because the price tag is just too high. So I have been admiring Steph's handbag from afar. And now Steph, 
I'm going to take it into my care for a little while at least. Next up is the handbag queen. Yeah, I think we can call her that. The lovely Meredith. Meredith's channel is called Living Lux with Meredith and of course also linked below. Meredith, 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 your collection is beyond compare. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, you, I mean, the amount of handbags you have is just unreal. Uh, I think in a recent video you said you have 400? Wow. I mean, literally, if I had 400, I wouldn't know where to put them because we've got a small, small flat here in London. 400 handbags. Oh my lord. How was I going to choose, Meredith? How was I going to choose? But I have. I have picked one. Now actually, I'm going to be greedy and pick two. It was almost impossible to decide. But I have decided. And I did say I'm going to cheat and pick two. And that is because you all know I've got a Fendi Nano obsession. So I had to pick this one. Meredith, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know. I missed out on this one for good reasons, I think. Again, it was in short supply. The price was a little bit, yeah, up there. <laughs> but what a beauty. And of course, it is the Fendi Tiffany collaboration. That little beauty, the little blue nano. I'm a blue person. I love blue. And this was just the perfect blue. And you have one, Meredith. So I'm sorry. It's coming home with my own little nano obsessed collection. <laughs> um, it's this one. You know which one it is with the beautiful silver hardware, that lovely blue. It is so gorgeous. So that's my first deal. Second one was way harder because you've got so many beauties. And being a Fendi obsessed person, yeah, I had to pick another Fendi, though I was really, really swayed a little bit towards Louis Vuitton because you've got the biggest Louis Vuitton collection and there is one bag in particular that I have always wanted to own and it is the Chrysler building. The Chrysler building handbag. I mean, piece of art. Absolutely a piece of art and I would love love to own that. But that's not the one that I decided to steal. The one that I have picked is, of course, a baguette. A baguette, a baguette, a baguette. The Fendi baguette is my favourite bag ever, I think. Yes, I think that's a fair summary. And um, yeah, I've got two of the minis. I need a bigger baguette. And you have it, Meredith. So why don't I just, oops, bring it over here to London town. It is the turquoise sequence baguette. It is stunning. It's blue. It's sparkly. Oh, I just love it. So yes, that's the one. I'm sorry. Bye. Continuing on the baguette theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's a bit tedious for some of you guys. Yeah, she's just going to pick baguettes. Mm, I'm sorry, but that's where my heart is. My heart is beating for the baguette. The baguette, the baguette, the baguette. Okay, enough of that. Let's head to Claire's collection, shall we? Claire Louise has got a lovely YouTube channel. So make sure you check her out too. So Claire, I was a bit torn about what to pick from you as well, to be honest. But there was only one winner because it had to be a baguette. 
and it is your blue beautiful Napa leather baguette. What a colour. What a stunner. And of course I'm going to steal the strap as well because your bag strap with that blue perfect. Just perfect. I love that baguette and it's just such a beautiful blue. So I'm sorry Claire. It's leaving you. It's coming to me. <laughs> Thank you. Leslie, Leslie. Leslie I adore. Leslie is a wonderful, beautiful person and I am so fortunate that we have met in the time that you've been here in London town. So thank you so for some lovely times together and hopefully a few more until you head back to your home country. So being a Londoner at the moment, maybe you're going to extend the time here with me. I hope. Anyway, praying. But that's not what I was going to talk about. Anyway, Leslie, you've got a fabulous collection. But there is one handbag from your little collection that I have seen in person a few times when we've been out together here in London town. And it's a departure from Fendi. I'm sorry, Fendi, but there are other handbag brands that also has my heart. Not as much as you, mind, okay, apologies, but emerging on my handbag brand love list is Bulgari. <laughs> yes, Bulgari, Bulgari, Bulgari. I don't have a Bulgari handbag yet, but I really want one. I really, really want one. And Leslie, you have the most stunning, beautiful Bulgari Serpenti bag. You know which one I'm talking about. It's a beautiful size. It looks so timeless and stunning. And it's got the classic Serpenti buckle head on it. It is a stunner. It's a lovely neutral. And it's one of those handbags I don't think you will ever tire of. I'm sure you haven't tired of it either, Leslie. I'm sorry. But it's coming to me. Make sure you check out Leslie's channel. It's Leslie Adina. She puts out some wonderful shopping vlogs. And at the moment, some lovely London vlogs too. So check out her channel. Yes, we have the queen herself of Fendi. She has the Fendi collection I can only dream of. Of course, it's Dale from Dale's Addiction. Love Dale's channel. I love her Fendi bags. So this was absolutely the biggest challenge of all, was to pick which one. Sorry, Dale that I will steal from you. Just for a little bit, mind. I'm happy to give it back. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, how could I choose? Because there are so many beautiful Fendi bags in Dale's collection. But I made a choice. There's one. There's one in your collection, Dale, that just makes my heart go boom, boom, boom and really like sets me on fire every time I see it. Actually, you haven't shown it for a little while. So there's a um, request. <laughs> Let's hear more about this particular beauty. And it is from the 25th anniversary re-edition of the Fendi Baguette, the one with the beautiful mirrors. Oh my Lord. It is the most stunning baguette ever. It has got mirrors. It's got all of the different colors. It's got beads. It is intricate. It's unique. It is so stunning. So yes, I'm sorry, Dale. It's coming to live with me because as I said, I need another baguette. You can never have enough baguettes, right? I think I've got a few extras now. <laughs> Yes, so that's the one that I would steal from Dale. Make sure that you head over to her channel too and 
see all of her stunning handbags. And she does some thought-provoking videos too that questions things. So that is quite a nice twist to any luxury channel. So head over there, check her out. And of course, subscribe. Nick J. Snell. Nick, Nick, Nick. Again, most fabulous collection. Very hard to choose, but I have chosen. Hmm. So what did I steal from you, Nick? What do I want to steal from you, rather? I haven't taken it yet. Or maybe you need to go and check your closet. Maybe it's gone. Hmm. Did you check recently? Has it gone already? So one of my luxuries in life is travel. And um, I put up uh, a little Italy travel series recently because that was my latest luxury trip. So if you haven't seen that, of course, go and watch it. <laughs> anyway, so for travel, Nick has got the perfect bag. And I was a little bit jealous, to be honest, to see that you helped, of all people, Dale to get one of these. Hmm. I want one. Come on. I'm a Londoner. London girl. Of course. The bag that I'm talking about is Nick's Longchamp bag with London across it, with a beautiful teacup just the emblem of a Londoner and when I go travel I can show the world that I am a Londoner and that is where my heart is ultimately. So yes Nick I'm sorry you're not going to have that long shunt bag much longer because it's coming to live with me and it's perfect too because I don't have that size of long shunt bag yet certainly not with that beautiful design on it. So thank you, Nick. It's coming to live with me. Of course, make sure that you head over to Nick's channel, Nick J. Snell, living life proud as you should. So make sure you check out his channel and subscribe to Lisa, wonderful Lisa. Yes. You have got a magnificent collection. I know you know that. <laughs> I know you don't need me to tell you that. Ah, but you came to Europe and conquered. Yes, I think you did. And the bag that I absolutely love, that my heart is beating for, in your collection. Well, right now, there's many. <laughs> but this one is the one that I've picked. I don't own one of these, well, yet. I hope I will in the future because of all of the Louis Vuitton handbag shapes, designs, this is probably the one that I really would love to uh, own in my collection. And it's a Capucines bag. So, Lisa, I'm sorry. I know you've only had it for a little while. Not long, actually. A month and a bit. <laughs> it has to come back to Europe. I'm sorry. Your Cabocines bag. The one you purchased in Paris. You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm stealing that one. Of course, it's the beautiful blue Cabocines bag in the ostrich leather. I mean, what a stunner. I'm sorry, Lisa, but it has to come and live with me. Hello, Gwenny. It's you next. I really, really loved your take on this video. So it is linked below, you guys. Make sure you watch it. Such fun. Gwenny, Gwenny, Gwenny. I think you know what I'm going to steal from you. We both have a Fendi obsession. But no, it's not one of your nanos. Though I'd love all of those as well, please. Thank you very much. No, it's not that. But it is a Fendi bag. And I think you know, since you got this bag, I've been obsessed. Utterly obsessed. I missed out on this one as well. Yeah. 
such a beauty. Such a beauty. Of course, it is your lilac peekaboo limited edition from the 25th anniversary collection of the baguette. What a beauty! What a beauty! Of course, that colour is not normally one that I would pick, but I think I can make an exception. I know it probably is your colour more than mine, but I'm sorry, it has to come and live with me. So, Gwenny, I'm sorry. The peekaboo, the peek peekaboo, the peekaboo, the peekaboo is coming home with me. Sorry. Beautiful Deb, beautiful Deb. Of course, I'm going to link Deb's channel too. So make sure you head over there. She has some fabulous handbags and some really great insights on some of these handbags that I have learned a lot from. So make sure you head over there. But Deb, you have made some recent purchases too, as far as I know. When you were in London, not that long ago, you purchased a couple of new handbags. And there's one in particular. Yep, one in particular, which has been on my own wish list for such a long time. But now that you've purchased it, I don't need to buy it, right? Because, hap, boop, boop, I'll just take it home with me. What can it be? I love Dior, but Dior is so expensive. But I love Dior. I think second to Fendi, probably Dior is my brand. I love Dior. I only have a couple of Dior bags, um, but I don't have one of these. Well, yet, because now I do, because I'm stealing this one from you, Debbie. It is your new Cara bag in that beautiful, beautiful grey. It is timeless, it's stunning, just beautiful. And actually, if you haven't seen Deb's review of this bag, make sure that you do. I agree with you, Deb. The Cara bag is underrated. I would love to own one. I hope I will one day. But for now, I will have yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> and last, but absolutely by no means least. Amelia, Amelia, Amelia. Amelia Rose's closet, that is. What a collection you have. What a collection. So this was really hard, really, really hard. But I have to say there were two prime contenders for me. And what were they, you might ask? I'll tell you now. It was a hard choice between these two. I said I loved Dior. I loved Dior. And you have the most magnificent Lady Dior on the planet. That beauty, the little one, with all of the beads on it. Oh, it's so stunning. Yeah, that one. Sometimes I watch a video and I just look at that bag. I know, mad, but true. And the other one that I absolutely love is your art piece. You know which one I mean. The Louis Vuitton Cabocines. Yeah, there's a theme here. It's another Cabocines bag. But this is the one from the Arty collection. Wow. And that's my pick. It's going to come and live with me. I'm sorry. I know it's a one-off. I know you can't get it again. And I feel slightly bad that that's the one that I want. But I really, really want that one. Please, thank you very much. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I mean, the artwork on that is just stunning. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if I would ever dare to wear it. But I would love looking at it on my shelf. So, please, just... Ship that over to me, please, so it can stay on my shelf and I can just look at it. So, Amelia, I'm sorry, but that is the one that has stolen my heart in your collection. And it has to come to live with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodness me, that was so fun. Absolutely loved looking through all of my YouTube friends' 
collections and uh, yeah, revisit some of their videos too in making these picks. You should do the same actually. Why don't you head over to their channels and have a good little rummage in their collection videos and the other videos too, of course. Um, yeah. And anyone of you lovely YouTubers that I have mentioned, or anybody else for that matter, who fancy doing this type video. I don't know if it's a tag video, but kind of, I guess. Um, I would love to see what you want to borrow or steal, as we say, from other YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was such fun making it. And of course, if you did, give it that thumbs up bluff and if you have yet to subscribe, please take a moment to hit that notification bell because it would mean the world. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. A little bit of innocent fun. And um, yeah, have a most fabulous day wherever you are in the world. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>